Hi, welcome to this Essentials Practice. It's called Morning Fuzz, and that comes from Gil Headley, who describes uh, um, the, the, the stiff feeling that we, that we feel as, uh, as we wake up in the morning, uh, as a fuzz. And so the point of this practice, this shorter practice, is to touch on a bit of everything and to help burn off as much of that fuzz. If you think of dew in the morning on grass, the sun warms it up, uh, this, this practice uh, warms up the fuzz in the same way. So let's begin. Let's lie on the back. And you're going to please take hands underneath head, feet flat on the floor so your knees are bent. And as you inhale, you're going to dip your elbows and your knees out to the sides like a pair of butterfly wings separating. Press them toward the floor and arch your back. And that's on in-breath. Inhale here. And then as you exhale, elbows and knees together, draw your navel in and lift your head and shoulders up off the floor like it's an old-fashioned crunch. And go back and forth like this as you dip into your breathing practice. Elbows and knees toward floor. Arch your back on inhale. Exhale, elbows and knees together. And you lift. And you repeat this a few times. And this help gets shoulder, uh, shoulder tissues warmed up, hip tissues warmed up, as well as uh, the spine. So a couple more breaths here, arching your back, elbows and knees out to side on inhale, exhale, elbows and knees together. Go back and forth like this twice more. Breathe in. Big exhale. And one last time, breath in. And exhale. Okay, great. And then from here, arms out in wingspan. Take your left thigh on top of your right thigh and drop your knees over to the left. You're going to keep them there for a twist. And as your knees drop to the floor on the left, you can turn your head to the right. You can also pause here a few breaths and arch your spine to warm things up. Kind of squeeze the muscles in the low back. Reach your hand out, right hand out as far as you can. You can also open and close uh, your palm. So hand open and closes to warm up uh, the palms and your fingers. Breathe down your right side another time or two here. Okay, great. And then you come back to center. Enjoy that uncoiling back to the midline. And let's switch legs. Right thigh on top of left. I'm going to switch for demonstration purposes. Right thigh on top of left. Your knees drop to the right. Your head can turn to the left for a full spinal twist. You can also arch your back here. Squeeze the muscles in your low back. That might feel like one of those first stretch in the morning stretches. And then as, you, um, as your knees drop to the right, your left arm can reach out to the left. You can also open and close your left palm. So palm is wide. Uh, you make a fist. Open your hands. Do that a few times. You burn off some of the fuzz in fingers and in palms. Okay. And then you come back to center and up to seated. Cross-legged fold. I'm going to mirror you, so this is my left leg, but please take your right shin in front of your left. You're going to slide your sitting bones back, and then exhale, reach your arms forward. Okay, you can spread your fingers as wide as you'd like, and as your fingers slide forward, you can round your spine and breathe into your low back a few times. Okay, if it feels all right here, uh, your feet, you can press your heels out and open your toes. And then you can alternate between that and pointing your toes out to the side. So we're starting to open up the soles of our feet. So you inhale, press your heels out, open your toes. Exhale, point your toes out to the sides. And so you're flexing the foot back and forth a time or two more. Okay, and then come up. We're going to add a rounded twist to this. So you lengthen, roll your navel to the right, and then you're going to fold as far right as you can. 
And so as you fold right, you're gonna roll your belly to the right, plug your left sitting bone into the floor, and breathe into the stretch on your left side. A few more breaths here. And as you're here, you can also move your head around and melt some of the fuzz around your neck, upper shoulders. Yeah, move your head around intuitively. Uh, especially if you are doing this in the morning, it can be smaller moves, no doubt. Okay, great. And then you come back up, enjoy that uncoiling back to center, and let's switch legs. So now left, shin in front of right, sitting bones back. Exhale, you reach your arms forward. Okay. So hands can reach as far forward as you'd like. Get the cape of your back, cape of your torso, the lats, the traps, nice and long. Breathe in your back body. And as you're breathing, uh, if, it, if it feels comfortable, you inhale, you press your heels out and open your toes, spreading the soles of your feet. And exhale, point your toes out to the side, squeezing the soles of your feet, back and forth like this. Flexing your feet back and forth, distal and plantar flexion, as you breathe into low back, once or twice more. All right, great, and you can make your way up to seated. From here, you're gonna roll your navel to the left, strongly to the left, and as you fold to the left, navel rolls to left, press your right sitting bone down, and then breathe into the stretch on the right side. And in addition to any stretch you're getting on your right torso, you can also move your head around. If you were taking circles just in one direction on the first side, you can go in the opposite direction on this side. If you were switching it up on the first side, feel free to switch it up on this side as well. Okay, very good. And then as you inhale, make your way up to hands and knees. And we're going to curl the toes under from on hands and knees. The toes are curled under, so you get a sole of the foot stretch and spread your fingers, especially the thumb, thumb away from fingers and fingers away from one another as wide as possible. And then your knuckles will press down, your wrists lift up. And this will give you a hand stretch, so extra vitality in the hands. You can stay here on hands and knees. If it feels okay for your knees and the soles of your feet, you can add some weight into your toes and press your toes into the floor as well. So hands warming up and feet warming up. A few more breaths here. Breathe in the abdomen. Okay, very good. And then you come out. You can wiggle your toes around, move your ankles around in circles. Hands forward a little bit. From there, curl your toes under. We'll lift back into downward facing dog. So first big leg stretch, hamstring stretch of the day. You can start with your knees bent, lift your sitting bones back as far as you can, sitting bones back and up. And then from there, drive your heels back and open your toes. And that'll give you a big stretch down the dorsum of your legs. Few more breaths here. All right, one last time, breath in. Okay, exhale. From here, take both of your hands over toward the left side of the mat, and you can do this by taking your knees to the floor too, but if it's available, you step your right foot forward, and we're gonna bring the back knee down. So now we're in a lunge, okay? And from here, so knee is on the floor, you're gonna press your hips forward a little bit, and you can stay here if this feels like a stretch uh, for, for your hips, that's great. Uh, if it feels okay, you can also reach your right hand around knee and keep the knee in like this. So you keep the knee manually in and press your hips down. A couple more breaths here. Okay. And from here, left hand stays on the floor. Inhale, you're going to lift your lungs. Exhale, twist past your front leg. You're twisting to the right. 
Draw your shoulder blades away from your ears. Inhale, lengthen your lungs. Exhale, roll your navel a little further back. And there's two more breaths here. Take a big inhale. Big exhale. And one last time, breath in. Okay, great, hands down. Two hands and knees, and back into Downward Facing Dog. Take Downward Facing Dog for a breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. And one last time. Both hands over to the right side of the mat. And you can take your knees down if you uh, like, but if you'd like to transition by, um, in through Downward Facing Dog, left foot forward, now we're in a lunge. And then after the transition, knee goes down. You press your hips toward, toward the floor. And both hands can stay on the floor. If it feels okay, you can take your left hand to your knee and help keep your knee in that way. And I'm gonna turn around for demonstration purposes. You don't have to. A couple more breaths here and a lunge with your left foot forward. All right, great. So you're gonna inhale, lengthen up your navel. Exhale, roll your belly to the right. And now reach your left arm up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades into the back. So legs are going in opposite directions. This is a twist, maybe a tiny back bend. A whole bunch of new practices, uh, especially if you've done this uh, first thing in the morning after waking up. A lot of the fuzz, a lot of the, the morning dew is evaporating through this practice. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. Okay, great. And then you can take your hands down. Come back through hands and knees, and let's come up to standing. Wide-legged forward fold. Next, heels a little further out than toes. Bend your knees, and you take your hands to the ground. And this is option number one, hands to floor. If it feels okay, option number two, please take your arms behind you and above your hips. Interlace your fingers, and squeeze your shoulder blades in, and take your arms overhead. So this is the first time we're doing this arm position. So you might feel a little bit more fuzz evaporating. Uh, as you inhale, drive your feet through the floor and lift your inner thighs up toward the ceiling. And there's a few more breaths here. Breathe, if you're especially doing this option number two with the arms overhead, breathe in the collarbones, breathe in the heart center. Two more breaths, big inhale, big exhale. Now one last time, okay. And then everyone take hands to the floor, lengthen up through belly. We're gonna roll belly to the right and fold down your right leg. Side fold in a wide-legged posture. As you fold to the right, breathe into your left low back. And two more breaths here. Take a big inhale, big exhale. And one last time, breath in, big exhale. And you come back to middle, you lengthen up through navel, roll navel to left, exhale, fold down your left side. And a few breaths here as you fold to your left, breathe into your right low back. And there's three more. Breathe in, big exhale, and breath in, big exhale, and one last, breathe in. Okay, great. And then from here, come back to center. Bend your knees a little bit, heel toe yourself close together. Arms sweep up overhead as you drive your feet down, reach your fingerprints up. And exhale, palms through heart center, step up to the top of your mat. Bend your knees, drop your hips down, and reach your arms up into chair. In five or six breaths, driving your feet through the floor. You can lift your toes if that's available, but drive your heels down, slide your upper thighs down, and lift your lungs up. And there's two more breaths here, and then we'll uh, exit this out into a, uh, into a very modified Sun Salutation A. So take a deep breath in, big exhale, deep breath in, and then as you exhale, fold, lift your sitting bones up toward the ceiling, and then lift your lungs forward, come part way up, take a deep breath in, plant your hands, go back into plank position, and we're going to hold plank for three breaths. Take a big inhale, bend your elbows ever so slightly, and engage your biceps a lot. Twice more. Take a deep breath in. Big exhale. And one last breath. And then we're going to lower all the way down. Tops of feet point back strongly now. So slide your uh, toenails back as far as you can on your mat. 
shoulder blades away from your ears, and inhale, you lift up into cobra, as high as you're able to comfortably, and exhale, lower. And we'll do that four more times. Inhale, press your hands down, lift your lungs up, exhale, lower, shoulders away from ears, inhale, lift your lungs up, exhale, lower, inhale, lift your lungs up, exhale, lower, twice more, inhale, lift your lungs up, exhale, lower, and inhale, lift your lungs up, all right, and exhale, lower, from there, big inhale, Exhale, arms reach behind you. You're gonna squeeze your legs together as best you can. Draw your shoulder blades together and then lift your heart up and lift your thighs up into locusts. Okay, so it doesn't matter how high you get, send your thighs as far back as you can and lengthen your lungs as far forward as you can. And there's three more breaths. Breathe into heart center, like we did in the wide-legged forward fold. Take an inhale, big exhale, breath in. Big exhale, yeah, one last time, breath in. Okay, hands to the floor, come up to seated. And come around with your legs straight out in front of you. Dandasana, take a deep breath in. And then keep your right leg straight, exhale, left foot on the floor. So your knee is up, take a deep breath in. It's Marichyasana A, open twist, which means you're gonna twist to the right. So your right arm goes behind you, and please take your left elbow to left inner thigh, and press your, so straight leg, press the heel forward, take a deep breath in as you lift your lungs, and then exhale, roll your navel back, and you can look forward. So it's a counter rotation in your spine. So your right heel presses forward, your eyes look over the right toes, but you're rolling your belly to the right and back, for a counter twist in your spine. And there's two more breaths here. Take a big inhale, big exhale. And one last time, breath in. Okay, great. And then come out of that, left leg forward, right foot into inner, uh, right foot uh, along the inner thigh. I'm gonna turn for demonstration purposes, but you don't have to. So now your left arm's behind you, front arm into inner leg. Marichyasana, A, open twist. Inhale, arch your spine a little bit, lift your lungs, and then exhale, you roll your belly back. So left heel pressing forward, and your eyes can look forward too, heads oriented forward. And as, we're, as if we're pulling the mid back back by rotating your belly as far to the left and back as you can. So it's a counter twist in the spine, and breathe as much as you can here. Deep breath in, big exhale. Three more times, breathe in, big exhale. Breath in, big exhale. Okay, great, and then inhale, you come back out. Soles of feet together, knees out to the sides. Take a deep breath in, and then exhale, hands onto your shins, feet. You can round your spine. And as you're rounding your spine, you can also press your knees toward the floor. Uh, elbows can assist through inner thighs, and that might give you an inner thigh stretch. Breathe into your low back. Deep breath in. Big exhale. Twice more. Breath in. Exhale. And one last. Breath in. Big exhale. Come up to seated. Cross legs and hands down. Give up all efforts except for a slight engagement in your low back. So you don't fall over, but otherwise, arms relax, legs relax. And for 30 seconds, notice how you're feeling, all the fuzz you've burned up in this practice the warmth and the fluidity in your system. Now that we've melted some fuzz. Great. 
And if your eyes were closed, you can open them. And thank you so much for joining me in this Essentials video. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care and Namaste.